Yo, what's going on guys? Real quick before we get into this battle, I just want to let you guys know that I am moving at the moment. Uh, so I don't have my desktop, which is why I don't have an intro on this video because I guess I don't have my intro on my laptop. I don't have my microphone, which is why I'm using this headset that you guys apparently seem not to like. I I don't know why the cursor is on the screen right now over my landers, but that's okay. Uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, I know I promised to upload a lot more often, but I don't think I'm going to be able to until I'm moved in, and that's going to be the, uh, September 3rd. I am going to PAX Prime. So while I'm there, I'm going to try to upload uh, as many videos as I can. But um, if they are coming out slowly, it's because I'm not going to be, you know, at home with the workstation. So um, just want to let you guys know that before we get into the battle against my boy PK, I'm using the same team that I used last battle. I don't have a Mega Evolution Pokemon, and this thing just could get rough because PK is a decent battler. He's decent. He ain't shit though. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's good. It's actually a very good battle. Anyways, I'm gonna lead off with Gengar because I thought he'd probably want to lead off with Garchomp. You see his team. His team is really, really fruity. Like it's a drag mag. It's it's broken. It's dumb. It's, it's just d ridiculous. Anyways, I'm gonna burn his Garchomp turn one because I know after his rocks, he's probably gonna want to start outrage and an earthquake and things because Garchomp is not a useless Pokemon after it sets up Stealth Rocks like some other Pokemon. Trust me when I say that, please. So I'm going to go for the substitute just to see what move he's going to lock himself into if he decides to stay in. And he goes for Outrage, which is wonderful because I do have a Bronzong. I can send him my Bronzong. Eat up the Outrage. Yummy, delicious, nutritious, Outrage, Dragon-type moves. Mm. And I can go to my uh, Stealth Rocks move there and then uh, set up my Rocks as he does absolutely nothing to me with another Outrage. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I might have just been able to stay in and go for a Shadow Ball, but I mean, I want to get my Rocks up as soon as possible since he does have a Dragonite. Uh, so, like I said, I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks now, as uh, his Outrage does absolutely laughable damage to my Bronzong here. <laughs> laughable! And uh, I'm going to eat it up, and um, like I said, go for the Rocks. He's going to switch out. Um, I don't think he can switch out for one more turn, though. He's going to have to go... Why is my cursor on the screen? That's bothering me so much. Please bear with me, though. I'm on limited time here. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. Anyways, he's gonna go for another outrage. I'm gonna eat that up. Go for my um, my rocks here, excuse me, uh, because he actually got I got lucky and he got a three turn outrage, so that's fine. Um, now it's pretty obvious that he's gonna switch out here, so I'm gonna switch out as well. And he actually has a Pokemon that completely walls my Bronzong, so I'm gonna switch out to Road and predicting his Scizor to come in. If that is the Mega Scizor, it's going to be a pretty big problem. So uh, I wanted to try and get a burn on this thing if I could, if possible at all. Um, because if that thing has Swords Dance and Knock Off or anything like that, uh, I could easily get swept here because I don't really have much for Scizor besides Rotom. So I'm going to go out to my Rotom, try to burn this thing if I can. My cursor just came back. Oh, how did how did that happen? <laughs> uh, obviously, I should have predicted this, though, because he's clearly not going to stay in on a Rotom when he knows he could get burned. So he actually ends up going out to his Garchomp. But I wanted to go for the Willows anyways just because... Um, I don't know, just in case on, on the off chance he did stay in. I could have easily gone for the Hydro Pump and killed his Garchomp there, though. Uh, but he is going to go for the Outrage. It's not going to do very much at all because I am bulky. Um, doesn't do much at all, like I said. I'm just going to go for the Hydro Pump and finish off his Garchomp real quick. His Garchomp got finished off real quick. And uh, that's a dead Garchomp. So I am actually up right now, 6-5. But he does have his Rocks up on, his side, on, on my side of the field. But then again, I also have Rocks up on his side of the field. Speaking of rocks, his Dragonite's going to switch in. Uh, I figured that this thing was Choice Banded, but I, just, I don't know why I stayed in, honestly. I, I don't know if I thought I could take one, but I needed my Rotom for later, and I let him kill it. So that was a bad move on my part, especially when I could have gone out to Bronzong to take that hit, because I don't really need Bronzong anymore. I don't. Yet I let my Rotom stay in and die, so like I said, I'm not quite sure what I was predicting there. Uh, but I'm going to be able to go out to my Latias and kill it, so that's a revenge kill for me. Uh, I'm actually up 5-4 now. Uh, I definitely should not have let my Rotom die there. Uh, I think I was scared of the Dragon Dance, though. That's why I stayed in, because had he gone for Dragon Dance, um, that would have been bad, because if he had, like, Dragon Dance and Fire Punch, my uh, Bronze, I wouldn't have been able to do much about that. I just didn't want him to get a speed boost, I don't think. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is go for the Defog here. He actually ends up going for the Belly Jump. Another mistake on my part. I could have easily killed him with two Cycle Shocks. But, uh, Psycho Shock, Psy Shock, not, what the hell is Psycho Shock? Psy Shock. But I'm pretty sure that he thought that I was going to switch out or something because it's an Azumarill. Obviously, I can't do much to Azumarill. Um, and obviously, had he gone for the, straight for the play rough, he would have killed me quite easily. So, um, that's just hindsight. Hindsight says I should have gone for two Psy Shocks. 
Um, but I didn't think that going for defog at the time was a bad move. So um, what I'm going to do now is go out to my Barbarical because my Barbarical uh, is the only Pokemon that can prevent this Azumara from sweeping my entire team. So uh, he's going to go for the Aqua Jet. I'm obviously going to live with the uh, Focus Sash here, which is another reason I went for the uh, for the defog instead of the Psyshock. So I'm just going to go for the uh, Razor Shell here, take out the Azumarill, and then completely struggle against the rest of his Pokemon because <laughs> my Rotom's gone, he has this stupid Scizor. Oh, it's just really annoying. I really wish I didn't let him kill my Rotom. He's going to actually Mega Evolve here. And that's another thing. If I had brought like a Mega Evolution instead of Barbarical or something, I probably would have done a lot better this battle. Not making excuses, though. I'm just saying uh, Barbarical is obviously not the most viable Pokemon. I think it's like NU or something. I don't know. U, U, N, U. I don't even know. But he's going to take me out with a Bullet Punch. I'm going to go out to my Geist. Hopefully I can get a burn off on this thing now. And I actually do end up getting the burn, but I believe he's still he's still able to kill me with a knockoff here. Just so many unfortunate things happened in this battle, man. I let him kill my Rotom. Uh, I let him kill my Gengar, which I actually needed to win this battle because uh, he has a lot of uh, excuse me. Uh, I needed my Gengar to win this battle. I needed my Rotom to win this battle, and I let him kill both of them. It's just really unfortunate. <laughs> but I'm gonna end up going out to it's fine. I got that Randaros, and I'm gonna go straight for the Earthquake. Uh, it's not going to kill it, but it's going to do a decent amount. And he's not gonna really going to be able to do much to me with uh, U-Turn here, because, especially since he's burned. Uh, but I am locked into Earthquake. I don't think he knows that at the moment. But then again, he did watch my battle before. Uh, actually, no, I'm not sure if he watched my battle. He was at my stream, though. I'm not sure if he watched the battle that I had before uh, having this one. But here I'm going to switch it. My Cursor! Oh, my Lord. That's so annoying. Why did I do that? Why did I put the Cursor over the battle and not, like, disable the Cursor? Anyways, <laughs> that's really annoying. I'm sorry if you think that's like your cursor. It's actually mine. Uh, but I'm going to go to my Bronzong here. Take the Draco Meteor. Uh, my plan here was to, I think, either get up my rocks or go for the Gyro Ball. I think I was going to go for the Gyro Ball. Um, but either way, it wouldn't have mattered, honestly, at this point. Because I only have Bronzong and Landorus. There's no way I can possibly win. Um, especially since he has the combination of Magnezone, Latios, and uh, Scizor. There's no way. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't even get the opportunity to see if I had a chance because he hits me with a Draco Meteor and gets a critical hit. Like I said, definitely didn't matter. Um, my only options here are to go for U-Turn because that's the only move that hits all of his Pokemon. Um, but like I said, there's really nothing I can do here. I already lost the battle. Um, U-Turn's not going to kill Magnezone for sure. It's definitely not going to kill Scizor. And I can't hit uh, the Latios with Earthquake. If I had, if I, if I could hit this Latios with Earthquake, I would have easily won the battle. But that's not the case. So uh, that's going to be good game, Pokemon King for life too. Check out my man's channel. Thank you guys for watching. Um, the battle's not over, but we all know that it's over. Like I can't, I can't kill his uh, his Magnezone here. He's gonna hit me up with that Flash Cannon real quick. Uh, U-turn's gonna do a clean 10% to this thing. <laughs> Disgusting. And then the flash can is going to finish me off. So like I said, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please excuse me for like the quality of my microphone. I'm really sorry about that, but I can't really help it at the moment until I move into my house because the moving company took my microphone. They took everything, dude. They even took my Beats by Dre's. Like, what am I, what am I supposed – what do they expect me to do on that plane? I'm going to die. I need music. If I don't have music and there's a baby on that fucking plane, I'm going to kill everybody. Real talk. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I'm not. I'm not kidding. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, we'll be back uh, whenever I can. Honestly, I have no idea because, like I said, I'm gonna be moving. I have my laptop. I don't have every. I don't have all my equipment, so I'm gonna upload when I can until I move in, and then we'll be back to the uh, frequent upload. So, like I said, thank you guys for watching. I'll be back. Uh, please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.